Hello traders, today is Tuesday, July 8th, and I'm Michael Boutros, currency strategist with Daily FX, here to discuss this piece on the Aussie dollar. Looks like the opening range for the month has been set right below that 764 retracement off of the October highs. It takes you just shy of the 95 handle, 9497, right where we reversed early in the month. On the back of last week's outside key reversal at multi-month highs, the focus now shifts back to the downside. You had some RSI divergence on the highs as well, followed by a trigger break to the downside that really helped us validate that. Near term, 93.30.93 remains absolute critical support. It's defined by the trend line support dating back to the March lows. You have the 100% extension off of the 2014 lows, a 618 retracement off the October highs of last year. And it's been a major pivot in the pair for the last three and a half months. We've been watching this. Uh, in DOD. So point being, you're at support, you're looking for confirmation that that outside weekly reversal we had last week was more meaningful. Here's what the intraweek chart looks like. Asia Pack opens on Sunday, tests that 618, right again, 9337 is going to be the weekly opening range low. We're looking to sell, or we're looking for highs to sell uh, sub 9440. If we break 9440, we'll expect to move on the range high for the month which again is just shy of 95. 9440 again being this decent pivot in price, as well as the 618 retracement from the decline off those highs. And we'll continue to reserve that region as our near-term bearish invalidation. On the upside, you really need to clear that 95 level, opens up tags, uh, targets above 9560 and onwards of 9630. Base case scenario that we're working with again is that this is a high we're gonna respect and we'll be looking to sell or we're looking for sell entries below that level, really the move sub 93, giving us the validation. Subsequent targets are gonna be right at 92, 20, 92, and then right on into 90, 80. We'll try to keep you updated on the real-time news feed and as always on daily effects on demand. Till then guys, best of luck trading. Do keep in mind, we do have Chinese CPI data released tonight. Tomorrow, we also are gonna get the release of the FOMC minutes from the latest policy decision, as well as Australian employment data, which could shake things up for the pair. Uh, best of luck trading, guys, and we will see you tomorrow. Cheers.